once we're satisfied that all the students have been engaged and that they've been given the opportunity to say something, we can move on to our study phase. Here, it may be necessary or useful to actually pre-teach some gaps in knowledge that have been shown from the engage phase. And those gaps in knowledge may include actual grammar structures or indeed useful vocabulary. And it's very important that before we move on to doing any forms of activity, that we check their understanding of this material. So we need to do some study exercises. It's also very useful if you leave this information up on the board for that study period. Those study activities can just be the normal types of gap fills or matching activities. And as always, we need to demonstrate those activities, elicit correct answers before we actually give out the material. And once they are doing the activity, monitor. When it's complete, we can then feed back and correct as necessary.